In today's video, we're going to cover day three of our road trip down to St. George. Day one is where we began and we drove down to Meadow, Utah and played in the hot springs there and then stayed overnight in a hotel in Fillmore. The next day, we then drove from our hotel down to a creamery in Beaver, Utah, and then we continued down to our condo where we are going to be staying for several days in St. George, Utah. The red lines and markers on this map show all of the other adventures that we've experienced here in Utah in our Tesla Model S. Click on the card above to see a playlist of all of those adventures. In today's video, we go explore Dixie Rock, and then we go swimming for the afternoon. All right, it's the next morning and we've gotten ready for the day and we're gonna go out on a day adventure. We're gonna to go to a place that is uh, known in the area as Dixie Rock and it has some other names as well. Girls, are you excited for our little adventure today? Yeah. Tell me how excited you are, Clara. Excited! Whoa, Lydia. Excited! <laughs> All right, let's get started. The uh, car charged up overnight just fine. It finished at about 2.30 a.m. It's down to 88% right now. No big, we're not really going anywhere today very far. And this is how far we're going right now. It'll be about a 14 minute drive is all. We drove eight miles, which consumed 4% of our battery over that 16 minutes. And that is three kilowatt hours at 80% efficiency or 33 cents worth of electricity. All right, we've arrived at Dixie Rock and we're gonna go on a hike for a little bit. And we'll get up on top of it and see what the view looks like. The city in the background is where we came from, and then we came down this road, and we drove around this little driveway thing here with these par parking pullouts, and they were all full, but we finally found a spot in that big gravel area there. And then we walked over here to this beautiful garden area where they had a scarecrow display going on with a Halloween theme. So we're walking through this gardens area right now, and they have a lot of scarecrows on display from various local families or businesses. It's kind of interesting to see what they come up with. Lydia, what is this? That is different. Lucy, what is that? What did you find, Lydia? Oh. That is a pirate. Something like that. It's a pirate something. It does look weird. <laughs> it does. That's getting creepy. See what? Okay. Oh, it's a crazy gymnast pirate skeleton. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It is creepy, Lydia. Clara, what do you think? Is it scary? When we finished exploring the garden exhibits, we then walked up the road and started to explore the red cliffs that is in this whole area. And as you can see, there are an enormous number of people exploring all over the place. And luckily there are plenty of areas to explore. And so people were just spread out all over the red cliffs, which was quite fun to explore. Hey Lucy, are you digging for dinosaur bones? Hey, are you having fun? <laughs> hey Clara, are you having fun? Good. Clara, are you in a cave? <laughs> That's a cool cave. Whoa. Oh, you're okay. Lucy, what did you find? Oh, you found a pokey? No. Uh-oh. Good. We are now hiking into what's called the crack. The crack can be found at this northwestern corner of the parking lot driveway area. 
And as you can see, it's pretty popular, so you might be able to find it just by how many crowds of people are going up into it. And if you're skinny enough, you can go all the way up to the very top of it. We're getting farther up into the crack. We're gonna have to start scrambling. Need some help, Clara? I'll help you up, okay? Here we go. It's really narrow in here. Hi, hey, Clara, is this fun? Hey, Lucy. Hey, girls, L Lydia, look at me. Hey, this is really narrow, huh? Yeah, but I can still go front. Look at that crack all the way up there. There's lots of people. You need some help, Clara? Okay, I'm coming. All right, so it turns out that this crack is really narrow, but I was able to squeak through, and the girls are getting through without any problems. Hey, Clara. Hey, are you having fun? And here's Lydia. Hey, Lydia. <laughs> We're almost out. After successfully getting through the crack, which is also called the St. George Narrows, we then hiked up over here to Dixie Rock, or that is also called the Dixie Sugar Loaf. There they are at the top. Hey Lucy, what did you think of the hike up here? Yeah, it was fun. Lydia. Did you have fun hiking up here? Did you? And you got, have a carrot, Lydia. And you got hungry, yeah. <laughs> you have a <laughs> Lydia, what is it? It's a cave? Oh. oh Clara, what did you see? It's a cave? Cool. Lucy, what do you think of the cave? Yeah? Super cool. I think so too. Lucy, we're done with the hike. How was it? What was your favorite part? The cave right at the end? That was pretty fun. We just finished with the hike and we're loading back up in the car and we're gonna go eat lunch. The eight mile drive back to the condo took 14 minutes and 4% of the battery, which was 77.9% efficiency using 3.24 kilowatt hours. After going back to our condo and making and then eating lunch, everybody of course wanted to chill in the pool that we had available to us here at this condo complex. This uh, area that we're staying in has two swimming pools and this one is a, like a water park. It's even bigger than the one that we went to last night. So we just barely finished lunch and we came down here to this one to check it out. And over on this side of it, it has a lazy river. There's a hot tub right there in the middle of the screen and then all the uh, other kids slides and stuff up there. And then a kitty shallow pool area. Show me your excited face. <laughs> That's better. Go oh, Lucy! Girls, are you excited for this pool? We will. Yep. <laughs>
we have relocated back over to the other pool that we were at last night, and uh, we're just exploring and enjoying the uh, surroundings that we have available to us. Hey, having fun. The drive to Dixie Rock this morning consumed 10% of our battery round trip. We had tons of fun hiking over there and then this afternoon we didn't use the car again because we just spent the whole afternoon in the swimming pool area of the HOA that we're staying in. The kids have had tons of fun and we've spent the evening hanging out with our friends. They have a fire pit behind this house that we're staying in. Uh, I'm going to be plugging in uh, the car right now. We'll get it charged back up to 90% overnight so that it's ready for whatever the adventures are that we decide to do tomorrow. Uh, so it hasn't been a whole lot of Tesla information today, but I hope it was entertaining anyway, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.